Well, hello everyone. Do you uh, open your RV freezer or refrigerator and get greeted with just large chunks of ice? We do on this RV sometimes, so I'm just gonna do a quick video of thawing out your freezer and refrigerator. So I've taken everything out, as you can see, and that's a good time to clean your refrigerator when you do this. But we don't have a lot in the fridge. I've let this kind of thaw a little bit, but you can see ice builds up here at the top. This could become a huge chunk of ice. You know, that's that's not good. It's not real healthy for the for the RV or fridge. So on your fridge, usually there's a tray, like if you see here, there's a water tray that catches water dripping down, and that will flush this outside of the RV. Um, but there's not one in the freezer. But what we do is we'll turn the refrigerator off. So like on ours, we just have this little button so that refrigerator is now off what I'll do is I'll let this just sit for a little while and the heat the ice will start separating from the wall and gets loose so you can pull it out uh, so I'm gonna let this get a little more thawed this right here will just melt pretty quickly on its own so that'll go away and like I said it's gonna go down into that drip pan and out if you don't have that drip pan down there just go ahead and put yourself some towels like underneath the bottom so when the water starts dripping down there it just doesn't get all in the rv but you know estimate how much uh drying you're gonna have to do based upon the amount of ice in here and that's about it we'll come back uh when i've got this thing cleaned up so uh this is the next day we left the refrigerator open to allow it to thaw out and all of the ice has now melted and it's in good shape all of the ice is out of the refrigerator and has dripped out the drip pan and made no mess there's no water anywhere it was nicely done dripping straight out the drip pan now with the freezer we knew that there was a huge chunk of ice back there and although it was mostly frost built up over time that's still a lot of water so what we did is laid a towel here to kind of dam up the water and since the towel will get wet and the towel will drip. We kind of pushed it in there a little bit so that way it wouldn't drip outside of the freezer. Uh, if you go and look, there's a pool of water. See, not the prettiest water, but it's there. That's what's accumulated on that ice that was in there and it's melted. So now I'm actually just going to get uh, some more towels to dry that up. And uh, you could get a shop vac, you could do whatever, but I'm just going to get another towel to soak that up to get the water out of here and uh, we're all nice and clean so i didn't go in there and just start chipping at the ice because as you can see there's some screws back there installed and we've got this uh this tray here that was embedded in the ice so you know you get in there and you start going crazy with a, a pick or a knife or something like that and you risk damaging your refrigerator so we took it the easy way we let it sit a day and uh just the the normal air temperature allows it to completely thaw out and once it's dry, I'm going to turn it back on and get it cooled off again. All right, well, now we have it. The RV refrigerator is on. It's already starting to cool. As you can see, when you open it up, all of the ice is now gone. It's cooling off. It takes a little while for these uh, type of refrigerators to cool down. But that's good. And we have the fridge here. It's working. Trays are cleaned out. No ice. All right, well, hopefully uh, that helps somebody thawing out your refrigerator and freezer. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Um, there's an applaud button if you want that. But uh, until next time, y'all take care.